Hi, welcome back to Harvest Hill Cottage. I'm Renee, and here we do all things vintage, DIY, repurposed, reused, upcycled, beautiful home decor. Thanks for joining us. If you're new here, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and come along for the journey. We've got some fun stuff to share with you. Today I've got three great thrift flips that I think you're really going to enjoy and I'm going to share with you some new techniques that you can use on your upcycled home decor. So let's jump right in. I love little accent tables. They're fun little flips. They're easy to ma manage and carry um, and maneuver around. They usually take me about a day, maybe day and a half at the most. I love to use them in my home decor, but they also sell really well for me in my retail space. If you're not into painting furniture, hang in there with me because this is a quick, easy flip. And if you're a beginner, this is a great place to start. Any painted piece needs to start with a good cleaning, then a scuff sand, wipe it down, and you're ready to paint. Here's our first project. It's a sweet little wood table, and we're gonna give it a two-toned effect. I paint my little tables upside down. It's just easier to get all the little nooks and crannies. I'm gonna use blue pine, a new color from Fusion Mineral Paint, and I'm going to use Fusion's Stain and Finishing Oil on this little piece. To paint those legs, I like to use the Zebra uh, square brush. It gets into all those little crevices, and I just sort of use a, a back and forth motion on those spindles, and it helps to get the job done pretty quickly. We love the Stain and Finishing Oil by Fusion. It has a built-in top coat. It's really tough, really durable with really beautiful coverage. So um, we sanded down the top to bare wood and we just went ahead and brushed on the Stain and Finishing Oil in the color Cappuccino. Um, and you simply brush it on and then you wipe it back. Those blue shop towels work wonderful for wiping back your stains and other finishes. Look at this gorgeous finish. And it doesn't need a top coat because it's built into the stain. Then I use the stain and finishing oil as a wash or a glaze right over top of that blue pine paint. Um, the stain and finishing oil, because it has a built-in top coat, it also adds an extra layer of protection over your paint. Um, you can just brush it on and then wipe it back as if you were doing a glaze or a wash over your piece. And it just uh, gives a really cool antique effect to your paint. Products you see here in our video are available on our website at harvesthillcottage.com and I will post a link in the description box below. I think it turned out really beautiful. I love that aged blue. Really cool two-toned effect. Next we're going to take on this shaker style accent table and I'm going to use Fusion Mineral Paint um, the color Bellwood. I'm going to paint the whole thing and then we're going to put something kind of cool on the top. Um, just upside down again, uh, hitting those spindle legs with a side to side motion. And I do get asked a lot if I paint the bottoms of my pieces. Um, accent tables, I typically do hit the underside, and here's why. A lot of times I sell my pieces in my retail space, and when a customer is carrying a piece off, you know, putting it in their car, uh, lugging it around. I, I want to make sure that the underside looks nice and neat and finished because my name goes on the piece and um, I just want it to look nice. When I do the tops of tables, I like to use a, a wedge uh, 
straight edge type brush. This is the Zebra um, chiseled wedge. And you just, you wanna get the paint on, you know, kind of quickly, nice long strokes. And always make sure you're brushing in with the grain of the wood. All right, to the top of this little table, we're gonna add my new favorite transfer by Iron Orchid Designs called English Twall. Um, it's just this gorgeous twall pattern that um, you can add to any of your painted surfaces. So um, I'll add a link below to a tutorial on how to add transfers in case you've never done it before, but um, it's just as simple as putting the transfer on your piece and uh, you just rub it on with a stick that's provided and um, the image literally just transfers to your piece. It's, it's really cool actually. When you're peeling back your paper, sometimes there's a little bit that doesn't quite come off and you just give it another rub and it comes right off. So um, then you just want to take your plastic and just give it a nice rubbing just to make sure every little bit adheres nicely to um, your painted surface. And there it is on the top of the table. I just, I love it so much. Um, on top of your transfers, you do want to put some kind of sealer uh, just to protect the image. And so I'm using Fusion Mineral Paints Tough Coat here. Um, I love these little blue um, applicators for applying my top coats. And um, I'll post a link below to our Amazon affiliate in case you want to order um, the blue sponge. And here it is all finished, looking so sweet. I didn't get to stage it as nicely as I would have liked because we had to get it in the shop pretty quickly because something else sold. And so um, had to just take a quick photo. Our third and final piece is this sweet little table magazine rack combo. Um, here I am just prepping it with my sander. Um, went ahead and put a base coat on and the heart shaped um, Cutouts that you see there got covered up because I'm not a fan. Um, I used the Iron Orchid mold sunflowers. It's a brand new mold. If you've never used the decor molds, um, such a cool way to embellish your pieces. Here I just used the air dry clay and um, molded a little sunflower with some leaves. And I used that to hide the heart that I was not fond of. I'll post a link below for a detailed tutorial on how to do molds just in case you've never done them before. But super easy, quick, fun way to embellish your pieces. And the molds are great because they are reusable. Uh, it's a one-time purchase and then you can just use them on as many pieces as you like. Put a little scrap of wood, a little triangle of wood on the back side of the molds just to make it look a little bit nicer on the inside. I use the color limestone and I do keep my brushes in a plastic bag when I'm working. That way it keeps them from drying out and I can swap um, you know, between brushes as I'm working on my piece. I use the Zebra uh, round brush to get the paint into all the crevices of the mold. Then I went to bed and then Early first thing the next morning, I got back to work to wrap up all my projects and this little table got an antiquing glaze. Just used a chip brush and um, just wipe it on and then wipe it back. The antiquing glaze has a nice long open time so you can work with it for quite a while. Just working it into all the, the nooks and crannies and crevices and it really, really makes your details pop. I really like the way an antique and glaze um, looks on a piece, especially a piece with lots of moldings and details. Um, looks really pretty on that sunflower. I love that. Fusion has glazes in several colors you can choose from. They also have a clear glaze that you can add any paint color that you want to and then you can, you can really 
add just about any color glaze to your pieces. Um, when I do tabletops, always just make sure that you um, wipe off in the direction of the grain, nice long even strokes so it looks really natural. And there it is. I think it really has a nice, um, really pretty French country look. Um, I think I might be keeping this one. I'm really, really digging it. Well, there you have it. Three sweet little accent tables. Got them all done in about three days. And I think they turned out pretty sweet. Thanks for watching and joining us. Really appreciate you being here and for your support. Take care and God bless.